Brain scientist Andrew Huberman and well-known psychologist Dr. Phil are working together. This teamwork is expected to change the way that we think about health. Right now, big pharma companies have a lot of control and they make up a big part of the U.S. economy. They also charge a lot for medicines. But this new team wants to challenge that. They want to make healthcare cheaper. They're focusing on new research and putting out the patient first. They want to remove money problems and focus on good health for each person. The work of Dr. Huberman and Dr. Phil starts a new time where healthcare is fair, within reach, and can make a big difference for everybody. The healthcare industry, already a mammoth sector absorbing 18.3% of US GDP as of 2023, is grappling under the ominous shadow of Big Pharma. This conglomerate of pharmaceutical powerhouses, armed with seemingly limitless resources and influential lobbyists, are steering the healthcare realm into an era of monopolistic control. As the number of people in the United States grows, the healthcare industry is facing an increasing demand and rising costs. It's a difficult challenge to improve patient health while also keeping expenses under control. The collaboration between businesses and healthcare facilities is becoming more important as they try and find a balance. A pivotal aspect at stake is the state of mental health care. The reality is harrowing. 70% of U.S. adults believe mental health care standards are woefully inadequate. As unveiled by a study conducted by NORC at the University of Chicago. But there might be a silver lining in the form of a burgeoning digital health startups, which could potentially revolutionize mental health care delivery without the exorbitant costs. The healthcare industry's fiscal landscape is daunting. According to verified market research, by 2028, the global healthcare market will skyrocket to a mind boggling $665.37 billion. In 2021, the US, already notorious for its exorbitant healthcare costs, shelled out $4.3 trillion or a staggering $12,914 per person. This figure is projected to rise to $6.2 trillion by 2028. The U.S.'s healthcare spending is absolutely unrivaled, comprising 16.8% of its GDP back in 2019. Though its chilling prediction is that, given the rising dependency on health-related technology, these costs could reach a whopping $12 trillion by 2040, consuming a staggering 26% of the GDP. The major perpetrator catalyzing this surge, you ask? The deep-rooted inequalities and biases in healthcare, which result in a shocking $320 billion squandered in healthcare spending annually. Healthcare providers are promoting the use of technology for vital tracking, early detection, and disease prevention to help cut costs. However, remote patient monitoring technology is not accessible to everybody, especially the elderly and those living in rural areas, due to the lack of broadband connection. <clears throat> But things are changing. By 2024, it's expected that over 75% of the U.S. healthcare facilities will use RPM tech, with many more players entering the market in 2023. Home healthcare providers are also on the rise, with services valued up to $265 billion potentially moving into the homes of traditional Medicare and Medicare Advantage beneficiaries by 2025, according to McKinsey and Company. From in-home care to home healthcare kits for conditions like STIs, the future of healthcare is increasingly taking place in the house, which is good news for the aging baby boomer generation and those whose wish is to age in place. The pharmaceutical industry and the cost of prescription drugs pose major challenges to employers and patients. However, digital solutions like virtual mental health care programs are showing success in reducing employee burnout and cutting costs. In the midst of all this, there is a groundbreaking partnership taking place. Famous neuroscientist Andrew Huberman and TV personality Dr. Phil are teaming up. Yeah, yeah. The impact of this collaboration on the industry remains to be seen, but one thing is certain. Big changes are coming. The medical industry and Big Pharma are about to experience some thrilling and some challenging times. Stay with us as we continue to explore this fascinating world, where innovation and healthcare intersect, and the possibilities are endless. From the bustling arena of daily talk shows, a defining era of televised wisdom draws to an end as Dr. Phil McGraw steps down from the limelight of the eponymous show, Dr. Phil, after a remarkable 21-year tenure. You've got to say, that's, that's pretty impressive. The curtain fell on Dr. Phil earlier this year, leaving a resounding echo in the daytime television landscape, marking the pinnacle of a genre that has sustained over two decades of dedicated viewership. Originating from the renowned Oprah Winfrey show, where Dr. Phil's expert analysis has often graced the screen, 
The show swiftly took flight in 2002, captivating audiences with its robust tackling of prevailing societal and individual concerns. The announcement of the show's culmination following this season was made in January, while re repeats are set to continue their rotation, giving fans a comforting taste of the familiar. Dr. Phil chose to discuss the conclusion of this journey in an exclusive, reflective dialogue with Chris Wallace, host of Who's Talking, aired on Max and CNN. The anchor probed Dr. Phil's rationale for ending a production that had enjoyed unwavering popularity and high ratings throughout its existence. With a demeanor of calm satisfaction, McCraw conveyed his contentment with the imprint that his show had left. It had become a vessel through which he stirred the collective consciousness around the subjects of mental health and other vital issues. In McGraw's words, or sorry, Dr. Phil's words, Consider this journey we've embarked upon for the past 21 years. The goals I sent for myself and the show have been achieved. I remember the discussions with the tech team, brainstorming the core of what the show would encapsulate, constructing the sales reel. My vision was clear, to spotlight issues that matter to our viewers, to bring them to the surface, the wide range of health challenges that are often hidden in the shadows due to the unjust stigma surrounding them. Above all, my ambition was to amplify the narrative of mental illness in the American story. Despite the cessation of new episodes, the daily television scene, although taking on a contrasting hue, is not entirely bereft of Dr. Phil's influential voice. Even as he steps back from the constant cycle of production, his insight will continue to enlighten the public discourse. In the same interview, Wallace sought Dr. Phil's perspective on the escalating statistics of anxiety, stress, and depression, particularly the rise in suicidal ideation amongst young women. Defiant in the face of common misconceptions, Dr. Phil contested the narrative that the pandemic was solely to blame, emphasizing that this was a crisis that had been simmering beneath the surface for years. Dr. Phil's departure from television opens up a new chapter in his career. His valuable time is now being redirected towards profoundly transformative endeavors within the sphere of healthcare, which continues to grapple with issues of accessibility and affordability. Teaming up with the neuroscientist Andrew Huberman, renowned for his groundbreaking research in the field of neurobiology, Dr. Phil is poised to bring about a seismic shift in the healthcare landscape. Together, they plan to leverage their combined expertise and resources to address this mammoth of a challenge that plagues the healthcare sector. Their shared vision is to make quality healthcare more affordable, accessible, and effective by embracing innovations in science and technology. The essence of this collaboration lies in their unified belief that every individual, regardless of their background or economic status, deserves access to quality health care. Their ambition is nothing short of a revolution, one that aims to alleviate the burdensome costs of health care and ultimately to create a more compassionate and efficient health care system for all. While the ending of the Dr. Phil show marks the close of a significant chapter, it also signals the beginning of a new, equally impactful journey. With his dedication now devoted to reshaping the healthcare landscape, Dr. Phil is set to write a new chapter in his career, alongside Andrew Huberman, one that promises to bring profound changes to the healthcare sector and, by extension, to millions of lives. When we feel stressed, anxious, or have health problems that affect our daily lives, we gotta ask ourselves, how do we find balance? How do we deal with these issues in our fast-paced world that often prioritize productivity over our well-being? The solution can be found within our own bodies, specifically through the release of hormones and the importance of light exposure and sleep regulation, which are often ignored but essential factors. Esteemed neuroscientist Andrew Huberman steps forward as a guiding light in this regard. His insightful teachings reveal the impact of physiological responses on our health, productivity, and overall functioning. Through the understanding and implementation of these strategies, Huberman presents the possibility of a major shift in our lifestyle that can propel us forwards towards improved health and well-being. Andrew Huberman's primary focus lies in the realm of adrenaline regulation. Adrenaline, or epinephrine, is a hormone that our bodies release when we face stressful situations or perceive threats. It prepares us for immediate action, for either fight or flight. But it's not always a situation of high stakes or danger. Often, our bodies may perceive regular stressful situations as threats, triggering an adrenaline rush. As a result, we may find ourselves grappling with chronic stress, anxiety, and various health issues due to persistently elevated adrenaline levels. Huberman introduces various techniques to control and regulate this adrenaline rush, promoting a sense of calm and relaxation, even in challenging situations. The most significant among these is the use of ice baths, the idea of soaking oneself in ice-cold water might seem daunting or maybe even a bit silly, but 
It's this very experience that enables one to develop resilience towards discomfort and stress. It's this very experience that enables one to develop resilience towards discomfort and stress. Immersion in an ice bath simulates a minor stress situation, inducing an adrenaline rush. Over time, the body grows accustomed to this adrenaline release, fostering an increased ability to handle stress. Another technique proposed by Huberman is cyclical hyperventilation. In simpler terms, it's a series of controlled breathing exercises performed while resting. This practice helps in regulating adrenaline levels, offering relaxation and calmness. Imagine being able to control your body's stress response just by breathing different. It's an empowering realization, and it makes you realize it's possible to manage one's well-being through such minor yet influential practices. So, let us shift focus to another critical area, light exposure. Now, that might seem unrelated, but the quality, duration, and the timing of exposure to light significantly influence various physiological processes. Huberman emphasizes the importance of morning light, particularly for setting our internal clock and optimizing our bodily functions. We can utilize this knowledge to enhance our overall well-being once we grasp the mechanisms behind light's influence on hormone release, sleep-wake cycles, immune function, appetite, and mood. Waking up early and spending time outside, soaking in the natural sunlight, that's one of the simplest ways to receive beneficial light exposure. It's vital to avoid wearing sunglasses during this period, as they block necessary light from reaching our eyes. Heberman highlights the role of blue light which stimulates a specific brain clock, signaling alertness and well-being throughout the day. Incorporating morning light exposure and reducing it as the day progresses can help synchronize our internal rhythms, contributing to optimal functioning. Melatonin is another crucial element that plays a significant role in our sleep patterns. Often known as the sleep hormone, melatonin is released by the pineal gland when darkness falls. Although melatonin doesn't put us to sleep directly, it initiates this sleep process, prompting feelings of sleepiness. Huberman dives deep into the complexities of melatonin production, shedding light on the potential drawbacks associated with melatonin supplementation. He advises against supplementing with melatonin due to its potential to disrupt our body's natural melatonin production. Understanding the role of light in melatonin regulation is key. Bright light, especially blue light, inhibits melatonin release. Hence, as bedtime approaches, limiting exposure to bright light sources like electronic screens becomes critical. In doing so, we foster an environment that's conducive to melatonin release and sleep ultimately enhancing our sleep quality and overall well-being. Supplements also play a role in promoting relaxation and good quality sleep. Huberman recommends theanine, an amino acid primarily found in tea leaves, which activates gamma aminobutyric acid, a neurotransmitter that reduces neuronal excitability and promotes relaxation. Other natural compounds like magnesium-3,8 and epigenin stimulate GABA production in the brain. These supplements, unlike traditional sleep aids, work in harmony with our body's neurotransmitter system to promote restful sleep. Nevertheless, it's important to always seek professional healthcare guidance before starting any supplementation regimen. Quality sleep, a cornerstone of optimal well-being, holds immense significance in our lives. Huberman underscores the importance of understanding light and supplements' role in our sleep and addresses other vital aspects of sleep optimization. Regular physical activity is one such essential component of healthy sleep. Striking the right balance between exercise and avoiding overtraining, which can disrupt sleep patterns, is crucial. A consistent sleep schedule, a sleep-friendly environment, and a limited evening exposure to electronic screens contributes to improved sleep quality. When these insights from Andrew Huberman are put into practice, they have the potential to transform our lives significantly. These small changes in our daily routines can bring about immense shifts in our well-being. Regulating adrenaline levels, optimizing light exposure, and prioritizing quality sleep are all crucial elements of achieving a healthier and more balanced lifestyle. Through these scientifically grounded practices, we can empower ourselves to face the challenges of modern life with resilience, promote optimal functioning, and unlock our full potential for well-being. When such a profound change becomes possible, it also impacts the medical industry. That's where the partnership between Andrew Huberman and Dr. Phil comes into the picture. Their collaboration presents a synergistic combination of science-based strategies with a broader perspective on mental health. It paves the way for a future where understanding and applying physiological principles could revolutionize personal health care and overall well-being. It's an evolution that presents a promise of significant change, a promise that could transform the medical industry and, more importantly, our lives for the better. In a world full of excitement and drama, there are a few people who have captured the public's attention as much as Dr. Phil McGraw. His TV show is watched by over 18 million people every week, making him a true expert in the field of psychology. Well, also his degree makes him that. 
The people are nice, though. The story begins in a small town called Vinita, Oklahoma, where Dr. Phil grew up. Dr. Phil's father, Joseph Sr., worked in the oil fields of North Texas before becoming a psychologist. Dr. Phil developed a strong interest in the human mind influenced by his father. After finishing high school, Dr. Phil pursued his passion for psychology at Midwestern State University. He worked hard. He earned a bachelor's degree in psychology in 1975, but he didn't stop there. A year later, he completed a Master of Arts in Psychology. In 1979, he reached a significant milestone by earning a Doctor of Philosophy in Psychology from the University of North Texas. This achievement earned him the title of Doctor. However, Dr. Phil's desire to learn and improve himself continued. He spent a year at Wilmington Institute, where he specialized in forensic psychology. Once he felt confident in his skills, he decided to join his family's psychology practice, following in his father's footsteps. Over the years, Dr. Phil gained more experience and he built a strong reputation. He started legal consulting in a firm called Courtroom Sciences Incorporated, or CSI, <laughs> alongside some colleagues. CSI quickly became pretty well known, attracting prestigious clients like major airlines, Fortune 500 companies, and influential lawyers. Dr. Phil McGraw's hard work and dedication began to bear fruit. While working at his legal consulting firm, Courtroom Sciences Incorporated, he had a fateful meeting with none other than Oprah Winfrey, the renowned queen of daytime television. Oprah, prepared to defend herself against allegations from the Texas Beef Group, sought Dr. Phil's assistance. His unique insights and approach impressed Oprah, leading to his debut appearance on The Oprah Winfrey Show in 1998. The audience instantly fell in love with him, and he soon became a regular guest, offering valuable relationship advice and life lessons. Buoyed by his growing popularity, Dr. Phil took a significant leap in 2002 by launching his own reality TV show aptly named Dr. Phil. Throughout the show, he showcased the transformative power of psychology by conducting interviews with a diverse range of individuals and providing them with advice based on his extensive training and experience as a clinical psychologist. Around the same time, Dr. Phil also ventured into the health supplement and weight loss industry. His influence and his fame absolutely skyrocketed. The world began to take notice of Dr. Phil McGraw and his ability to captivate audiences while imparting wisdom. In an unexpected turn of events, in 2006, the California Board of Psychology ruled that Dr. Phil did not require a license to practice clinical psychology. This decision stemmed from the understanding that his role on the show was primarily for entertainment purposes than therapy. Consequently, he didn't need to adhere to the traditional regulations of <laughs> clinical practice. This ruling didn't diminish Dr. Phil's impact or popularity, certainly not. Instead, it only added to his unique appeal as a celebrity psychologist. Dr. Phil Starr continued to shine brighter than ever when he received a star on the prestigious Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2020. This honor served as a testament to his enduring influence on the public and his unwavering commitment to the field of psychology. However, Dr. Phil was not solely focused on his television career. He used his growing influence to create a tangible change in the real world. He established the Dr. Phil Foundation, a non-profit organization dedicated to supporting underprivileged children and addressing the pressing issue of childhood obesity. Additionally, his generous donations to homeless shelters demonstrated his compassion for the less fortunate. Dr. Phil received the Presidential Citation, the highest honor bestowed by the American Psychological Association, as a testament to his remarkable contributions to mental health awareness. Despite his monumental success, Dr. Phil remained steadfast in his commitment to the life of sobriety. Inspired by a family history of alcohol-related struggles, he made the conscious choice not to drink. Furthermore, his passion for sports endured, hearkening back to his days as a middle linebacker while on scholarship at the University of Tulsa. Additionally, Dr. Phil's legacy continued through his oldest son, Jay McGraw, who followed in his father's footsteps and authored several motivational books. Dr. Phil's story is not just one about personal triumph, it's a, it's a testament to psychology's transformative power, I guess you could say. From his humble beginnings in a small town in Oklahoma to the dazzling lights of Hollywood, his journey has left an indelible mark on the world, inspiring millions to prioritize their mental health and 